Good morning. Welcome to yoga, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Um, I hope that you're all doing awesome. Do we have any special like requests for today's practice? Just the usual. Okay, <laughs> that's what we'll go with then. Um, I'll have you guys find a comfortable seated position on your mat and I'll meet you there. And here in our easy seat, we'll just start by grounding through the hip, the sits bones, rooting through them, and lifting through the crown of the head, letting the shoulders fall away from the ears. Maybe close your eyes for a moment here and let your body come to stillness. And bring your mind to stillness too. And as you sit here, maybe think of an intention for today's practice. Just like a little goal that you'd like to take with you. And with your goal in mind, let's come back to the breath. Just acknowledging the inhale and the exhale. I'm just using that as kind of like a, a pathway to center your mind. On the next inhale, I'll reach your arms up to the sky. Interlace the fingers and exhale to the left side. Inhale, center. And exhale, right. Inhale, center. Let's exhale those hands straight on in front of us, walking them forward. walk the fingers over to the right side. And to the left. back to center, maybe stretching out an inch further than before. Remind yourself of your intention here. Then we'll slowly walk the hands back to our tall torso. Let's place the left hand on the mat next to us. Inhale our right hand up over to the left side of the head and gently drop the head to the right. Hopefully for a stretch right there.
We'll walk our left hand just barely behind us. Right hand comes behind the left ear. And then look down and into that right armpit. And release the right hand to the mat. Inhale your left hand up and over to the right ear. Drop the head over to the left side. Let's walk the right hand just barely behind us. Left hand comes behind the right ear. Look down and into that left armpit. On the next breath, we'll release the left hand to the mat. And let's place both those hands in front of you on the mat. Swing the legs around into a tabletop position. We're gonna start with our cat-cow flow. So just to the pace of your own breath as you inhale, we'll drop the stomach looking up to the sky. As you exhale, arch the back, tucking the tailbone and tucking the chin. Just to your own breath. Warming up the spine. We'll do a couple more breaths here. And slowly come back to stillness. Let's inhale the right arm up to the sky, opening up the chest. And exhale that right hand underneath the left, thread the needle. Release that right hand back to the mat. Inhale the left hand up to the sky, opening up the chest. And exhale the left hand under the right, thread the needle. Place the left hand back on the mat. From here, we'll stretch the right foot out behind us, toes on the mat, and slowly just reach through your heel to the wall behind you. So hopefully we're just getting a really gentle calf stretch. And release that knee to the mat. Stretch the left foot out. and release that knee to the mat. From here, we'll take a few hip circles. So starting on whichever side you'd like, um, just take some circles with those hips, maybe starting off smaller or slower. And then getting a little bit bigger or a little bit faster. And we'll switch directions. The goal is to just take the hips through a little bit more of the range of motion than we would otherwise, especially getting that lateral movement in.
And maybe one more. And we'll come back to stillness. And here, we'll tuck the toes, lift the hips up to the sky into a downward facing dog. And feel free to walk out the dog, dropping one heel to the mat and then the other. Then we'll inhale the right leg up to the sky and step it forward into a lunge. Let's drop the left knee to the mat and tuck the toes. We'll inhale the torso up to the sky into a crescent pose, slight back bend here. And release those hands to the mat. If you want to, you're welcome to walk that right foot out a little bit and place your right hand on the inside of the knee. And here in Lizard's Pose, you're welcome to stay where you are. You can also start to drop the knee out to the side if that's comfortable for you or drop onto your elbows. Maybe find a good spot where you're getting the perfect amount of stretch. Not too little, but not too much. And if you're on your elbows, we'll come back up to our hands. We'll walk that right foot over to the left side. Drop the knee on the mat into a half pigeon pose. You're welcome to stay here or you can drop onto your elbows if you'd like. Or if you'd like that quad stretch, you can place that right hand in the center of the mat and reach the left back to grab the left foot. So whichever one is comfortable for you, we definitely have time for you to hang out in one or to play around with a couple of them. On the next breath, if you are on your elbows, you will come back up to your hands, tuck the toes and step back to a plank. Let's take a vinyasa here. So you're welcome to drop all the way down to the mat or you can come to your chaturanga, whichever one. Inhale, baby cobra or a dog. Exhale back down. Then we'll tuck the toes and lift the hips into a downward facing dog. From here, let's inhale the left leg up to the sky. Then we'll step it forward into a lunge. From here, drop the right knee, untuck the toes. We'll inhale a torso and the arms up to the sky. And exhale back down. From here, we're going to enter wizard pose. So if you'd like, you can bring that left hand on the inside of the left leg. You're welcome to walk the left foot out a little bit further or let the knee drop. Um, another option is to drop on your elbows. 
So just find the balance for you. On the next breath, if you are on your elbows, we'll come back up to our hands. We're gonna walk that left foot across to the right side and drop knee on the mat into a half pigeon. Same options as always. You're all gonna stay here with your tall torso. You're all gonna drop onto your elbows or reach back with that right hand for the quad stretch in the right leg. On the next breath, we'll come back up to our hands if you aren't there already. Tuck the toes and step back to a plank. And we'll drop all the way to the mat this time. Laying down on our stomach. From here, let's bring the left arm in front of us. So our forearm is parallel to the edge of our mat. We're gonna reach back with the right hand to grab the right foot. And gently just pull that in towards you. Another option um, for future reference is this pose can also be done with a strap. So if you find it hard to reach back to grab your foot, um, you're welcome to grab like a towel or a strap and kind of pull that in using your strap. On the next breath, so right now we're pulling our foot in towards our body. On the next breath, we're going to reach that foot out, lifting the torso and lifting the leg out into a half wheel. And exhale, release that to the mat. Bring your right arm in front of you and you can rest your right cheek on the mat. On the next breath, we'll leave our right hand where it is in front of us, forearm parallel to the mat. We'll reach back with the left hand to the left foot, pulling that in towards your body. We'll inhale that leg up, reaching it out, opening the chest for a pec stretch. And exhale, release. You can bring your left hand in front of you and left, rest your left cheek on the mat. This next part is optional. You're welcome to stay here in a resting position. Or if you'd like, you can reach back to grab both feet. Just gently pulling them in towards you for a moment. And then on the next exhale or inhale, we'll reach them out into a full wheel. And exhale, release. Come back to your resting position. On 
on the next breath. We'll tuck our toes, place the hands under the shoulders and lift up through tabletop and slowly walk the hands back into our fire toes kneeling position. You're always welcome to keep your hands a little bit on the mat, just keeping the weight a little bit off your toes. While you're here, try and focus on your breath. And remind yourself of your intention for today's practice. On the next breath, let's walk those hands out in front of us into tabletop. Maybe shake out the feet a little bit. We'll swing the legs around, coming into a seated position at the back of our mat, stretching those legs out in front of us. And Dandasana, inhale those arms up to the sky. Exhale for seated forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. On the next inhale, let's walk those hands all the way up to our tall torso. Stretch the legs out to both sides. We'll inhale the right arm up to the sky as we reach the left towards that left foot. On the next inhale, we'll come through center, reaching the left arm up to the sky, right hand towards that right foot. And back up to center. Let's bring both those arms up and stretch them out straight in front of you. Walk the fingers over to the right side. And to the left. and back to center. And on the next breath, let's slowly walk those hands up to our tall torso. We're gonna bring our knees into a tensive position. Um, you might need to scoot forward on the mat just a little bit. We're gonna roll back onto our backs. From here, let's inhale the right knee into the chest. Hug it there for just a moment. And then stretch it up to the sky, maybe holding behind the hamstring. We'll bring that right foot to the left knee. Let's see bind figure four. Reach behind the left leg and hug the left knee into the chest. Keeping the feet how they are, we'll drop the left foot to the mat. Send the arms out to the sides. Drop the legs to the left as you look to the right. Inhale back up to center. Release the right foot to the mat and hug the left knee into the chest. We'll reach the left foot up to the sky, holding behind the hamstring. And 
and release the left foot to the right knee. And hug that right knee into the chest. We'll drop the right foot down to the mat. Send the arms out to the sides and let the legs fall to the right side as you look to the left. Inhale the legs back to center. Release that left foot to the mat. You're welcome to stay here for about three minutes or another option is to place your hands underneath your hips and stretch your legs up to the sky for a waterfall pose. And just let your body experience the inversion for a few minutes. If you did decide to enter waterfall pose, slowly let your feet fall back to the mat now. Maybe untuck your hands. Let your body come to stillness. Maybe remind yourself of your intention. And on the next breath, we'll roll over to one side. You're welcome to spend a moment here. And then whenever you're ready, you will use the hands to walk the torso up to a seated position. Here in your seated position, maybe take a moment to thank yourself for coming. And then also to reflect on your intention and decide if it's something you'd like to take with you for the rest of the day. Or maybe it's time for a new one. And with that decision, let's inhale the arms up to the sky. We'll exhale them to heart center. Thank you guys for practicing with me. Namaste.